The new risk assessment map for the eruption sites of the Grindavik and north of it to the Swartzing is released now. It has not much changed. The risk of eruption is high and uh, it's quite possible that we have the eruption in an area between the Hagofel and the Stora uh, Skogofel. And uh, this map practically shows that the land rise due to the accumulation of the magma in the earth crust is continuing. I show it here today for today up, uh, up to today. We had first the normal situation that was the line was flat. This is the baseline we started with. Then we had a rise. Dry eruption happened in the Grindavik. This is dry eruption. Good students of geology know what I'm talking about. Bad, lazy students don't understand or is not to their benefit to understand that. It was no eruption happening there. There was just a opening of the earth, but no magma rose. We had only top of the magma, which was the gases released. Then we had the Sundunka eruption. Now we had the, another downfall, and again is reaching almost the same level of the uh, Sundunka as it was in the uh, late December, and new eruption will happen there. This is based on the what we know about the geology of this region. We see that in the uh, form of the tremors and the uh, earthquake chart. You can see the magma rising each time. And the evidence for this is that this smoke and the gases released from the top of the Sundonka craters, you can see that this is the top of the magma chamber where the fumaroles gas uh, phase of the magma is released to the environment. The next eruption, as I told, will be between Hagofel and Stora Skogofel. And this is where the earth will extend. Bubbling of the magma happened because the pressure is relieved and then eruption happens over there. The good students of geology will also, re every day they look on the map, they see that the earthquakes start at the area near the Grindavik, even in the ocean, then extend up to the evening to the east part of it. A good student of geology know what I'm talking about. The bad students will spend this time partying and not doing the work he has to do in the field. Just so far, so far geologists doesn't know what it means. They don't understand it even what, what's the meaning of a dry eruption.